Good morning, welcome to a fantastic Friday. I'm Riley and this is Hutta Elementary Tiger Talk. And I'm Sydney. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2022. We are here to make sure you know what is happening at Hutto. But first, we need everyone to stop what you're doing and take a moment for the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Ready, salute, pledge. I I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please take a moment to think about the kind of day you would like to have. Now it's time for the most important thing. Let's hear about today's lunch menu from our kitchen correspondent. Today our chefs in the cafeteria are preparing pizza of the day of PB and J, tater tots, seasoned green beans, and diced sweet potatoes. Don't forget you can purchase ice cream for one dollar. Be sure to thank the lunchroom staff for all of their hard work this week. That sounds delicious. Today is an important day for some of our students and our staff. It's time to wish some very special people a happy birthday. Happy birthday today to Braden Trailwood, Riley Kilgar, and Bernardo Miranda. We hope you have a great birthday today. And happy birthday tomorrow, Denisha James and Cameron Brown. Have a great birthday weekend. Happy birthday to all of you. Now let's learn how we can each be our very best, which will make our class, school, and world a better place. Begin with the end in mind means to think about how you would like something to turn out before you get started. Reading a recipe before cooking helps you be prepared and makes the process easier. Another way to think about it is that it's important to look at a map before leaving on a trip. That way you can plan and see where you might want to stop, how long it will take you, and which direction you are heading in. A a really good example of beginning with the end in mind is when you put together a puzzle. Think about it. Before doing a puzzle, you should always look at the cover of the box to see what it should look like. Thinking about how the puzzle will end up helps you finish the puzzle and makes it easier because you start with the end in mind. There are so many cool things to learn about in our world. Let's head over to one of our experts and see what we are learning about today. Anna Arnold Hedgeman was the only woman on the organizing committee for the 1963 March on Washington, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his speech, I Had a Dream. However, the civil rights leader was hidden, concealed out of sight by the men around her. Not only did Hedgeman inspire many different groups of people to participate in the march, she organized transportation and made sure attendees had food and water. She also demanded that her male colleagues provide women a speaking voice during the march, but the men proved unrelenting and ignored her. The group of leaders who organized the march is often referred to as the Big Six. Of course, Hedman or any other women for that matter was not included in the group even though she was the reason there were so many people there at the historic day to march with Dr. King. Remember that you are the person 
in control of your actions, words, and behaviors. You need to manage your own behavior. Stop worrying about how others are behaving and manage your own behavior. You know what is right and wrong. Each of us starts off the week with a hundred in conduct and it is up to you if you will keep it or not. That means if you did not earn this week's Friday award, then you made choices that you really need to think about. Now it's time for us to sign off. We will see you next time on Tiger Talk.